everybody. <laughs> I'm Shula Myrowitz. I'm the I'm the MOB and together with Cyril, the FOB. We I said F. <laughs> Uh, we welcome you all here tonight. We especially want to welcome the four grandmothers who are here. Oh. Say it louder. Yeta and Yochevet, who came all the way from Israel. Oh. And Sylvia and Grace, who came all the way from Albany. <laughs> and it's very special for all, to all of us to have them here, and we, we're really thrilled. We're also thrilled to have all of you here for the wonderful occasion of our gorgeous daughter, Aviva. <laughs> Gorgeous about to be son in law, Seth. <laughs> and we're also very, very thrilled to, to welcome Roy and Judy into our family. <laughs> as well as all the other Fruiterman extended family. We are re really very thrilled to have you. <laughs> and um, oh, we also. Many of you came from very far away, as far away, uh, as far away as Israel, to all the different states. I'm not going to enumerate them all over the United States, and we're just thrilled to have you here with us and to celebrate with us. So, <clears throat> to get the evening rolling, because this was about a toast and a roast and all of that, um, I want to go back in history about 14 years to 1996 when Aviva was at her high school graduation, about to go to Oberlin College. <laughs> and we had a party, and Aviva at the time was very obsessed with a TV show called My So-Called Life, <laughs> which some of you were probably also obsessed with. Um, she was also obsessed with TCBY yogurt, which she probably still is as well. And our whole family was obsessed with the musical Les Mis. With many musical. Hey Wayne, did you hear that? <laughs> so from that show we wrote a short song and we want to sing it for you again tonight. Just to go back in history to show you who Aviva was before you all knew her. Remember she was 17, 18 and this was 1996. And this is Tali, my daughter, who is the SOB. Okay? <laughs> It's true. Right. One, two, three. Youngest in the house, doling out the charm, except when she feels hassled by her dad and mom. Roller of the eyes, walking with the huff, always lets us know when she has had enough. Everybody loves her humor. Everybody loves her style. Even though her so-called life phase lasted for a while. Tom, 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 wearing all my shirts, borrowing my socks, didn't even leave one CD in my box. Remember CDs? TCBY here, TCBY there, and endless cups of coffee lying everywhere. Our label reading vegetarian, addicted to pasta and cukes. If you come back with an eyebrow ring, I think I'm gonna have to puke. Tum, 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 always on email, always with a book. You ask her how she's doing and you get and look, cool beyond belief, cool beyond compare, did we mention that she's got the coolest hair? Everybody loves her humor, everybody loves 
her style. So everybody raise a glass. The palindrome has got such class. Everybody raise a glass to the youngest in the house. Bum, 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 bum. And now for Act Two. <laughs> Paul and I wrote a little something for you guys. For the purposes of this song, when one of us is singing, I'm Seth and she is Aviva. <laughs> you want to tell them this too? What? Someone's... This is to American Pie. So in case you don't like our singing, eat it. No, I'm just <laughs> Just joking. Okay. A long, long, long time ago. <laughs> I've had one beer. It's the first beer I've had in about a year. Okay. Um, long, long time ago, I can still remember when Vivi started dating Seth. She went downtown to see his show. They both smiled and said hello. And, and left, they're all excited, out of breath. <laughs> should I call or should I text? I'll email, but what comes next? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> words were spoken. <laughs> Says chick drought was broken. <laughs> and we don't, don't know, know why they hesitate <laughs> to finally <laughs> say they were on a date. <laughs> Who knew it would, would be such a long, long wait <laughs> to get to <laughs> the, the wedding. wedding day? So, so why, why did it take so long? Why at the end of your three hangouts you felt something inside? And finally smooch, you could no longer deny. Let's give this dating thing a try. Let's give this dating thing a try. They first met at Oberlin, and who knew someday they would live in sin? <laughs> in an apartment in Riverdale. Cool Fruiterman's a musician, but mm, he plays accordion. <laughs> To hike on a trail. First, we went to Delaware, then they flew to London in the air. In Seattle, they slept on a couch. All they could say was ouch. They went to Napa and the wineries. We all thought that Seth had lost the key. But, but it, it turned, turned out that, that it was Z. Z. <laughs> 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 and we were thinking, thinking, why, why did it take so long? Why? When, when you started, started dating, we had only one, one child. child. <laughs> <laughs> We have three and it's about time to walk ourselves down the aisle. We're so happy, all we can do is smile. I met a girl who had perfect curls, and on snowshoes I rocked her world by getting down on one knee. You asked me to marry you. With your deep eyes that are so blue, I said yes, but man, I had to pee. In <laughs> that New Year's Eve, that's, that's when Seth proposed to be. As Saba would have told ya, no chupa, no stupa. <laughs> The wedding day is oh so near. Let's give Eve and set a cheer. And we are singing bye bye, just dating bye bye. Soon you'll be old married for the rest of your lives. We are here to celebrate and party tonight. We love you, raise your glasses up high. We love you, raise your glasses up high. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. You are very courageous. Say that for the camera. Very courageous. Thank you. Do you want to come? Yeah, let's, let's just let the Yes. You just need 